using the Florida Solar Energy Center's website on their system installation. We're at section or part four of the collector feed line piping. And this real quick update of this website for just brief background here. So the collectors have been installed in this case on the roof. We're going to start doing our piping and from the previous videos you've seen how we've done that. There's a few things that we need to be very careful with. Gravity is going to assist us in taking this fluid in or out. So in this case this is our return line. So we want it to assist us. What we really need to do when we're doing our final between the rough end to the final sweat soldering of these pipes is to verify that the runs are as clean as possible and then they are sloped in such a way that we will use gravity to assist us. The next thing we're going to need to worry about, and there will be videos later on, but you need to be very careful with knowing calculating the flow of the collectors and how much vertical head that we're going to have. And the reason for that is there's two big problems. One, most of the time you're going to buy a standalone system from a retailer and we're going to install it. The second part with that is it comes with say two collectors and maybe a pump or a, a system to do that pumping and we need to know how much vertical height we're going to have. So when we're doing this feed line final rough in to the final sweat solder we're going to measure the height from the tippy top of that collector all the way to where the pump is. That will give us our vertical head and then what we'll need to do is then calculate how many square feet of collector that's available to determine how much flow that that pump is going to have to come uh, and deliver for. So generally we're going to be okay if we buy a complete system or package, but there will be some issues that we need to, to cover. The next thing is every insert that we have will insert a loss. That will take some of our pump and add restrictions to it. That restriction is going to have to be overcome by that pump to deliver that flow. And again, we'll get into that later, but for section four right here, when we do our final rough ends to sweat soldering to make it the final, we want clean solder joints, we want to measure repeatedly, and then we want to try to give ourselves some places where it makes our sweat soldering job easier. Now, this picture right here, it looks like it's a union or an elbow directly at the coupler coming out of the collector. I would, would try to give myself a little more room so I can make sure that I get a nice seal around that. So there's more than one way to get this job done, but as we're doing this, we want to verify that everything is measured correctly, the angles are proper, then everything's cleaned and ready to go.